It's not a one in a million lens. It's not made from incredibly exotic materials, it doesn't produce swirly bouquet, and it doesn't cost as much as a house. What it is, is my dream lens. Let's get the basics down first and start by looking at the name. Fujinon HA18 by 7.6. The HA means it's a top of the line B4 mount HD lens. It even has a gold band at the front to really drive that point home. Being a top of the line lens means high sharpness and very little chromatic aberration, CA for short, and to compensate for what little CA is left, the lens also supports ALAC. ALAC is a communication protocol between my Sony camera and the lens that allows the camera to electronically correct CA, making the lens virtually free of it. The wide end of 7.6mm is good enough to shoot in fairly tight quarters. Barrel distortion will still show up on a test chart, though I consider this an ok amount and it's not really noticeable in normal video. The zoom factor of 18x means you can get great tally shots as well. There's also an extender, denoted by the E in the name, that doubles the focal length again, making the tele end a whopping 274mm. The only issue with that is, if you're shooting outside, you're getting to the point where you can see hot air move, and lose contrast because of the sheer amount of air between your subject and the camera. The lens has a maximum aperture of f1.8, which makes it quite capable in low light conditions. And if you've got the room to spare, you can zoom in a bit and get some very nice out-of-focus backgrounds too. Note that the maximum aperture is only good until about Z75, after that the lens ramps down to about f2.4. It weighs about 1.6 kilograms, which means it's still a relatively light lens. In fact, it's the lightest HA series lens Fujinon offered at the time. The M1B in the lens name is the model of the hand grip, having been built sometime between 2010 and 2012 according to Fujinon support, it's a modern hand grip with digipower features. That means precise servos and serial communication with the camera, which means I get the focus distance displayed in the viewfinder which is incredibly helpful. It allows me to memorize focus positions and nail focus much quicker. DigiPower also enables me to use the awesome ERD10A zoom remote, which has a few handy features. The zoom speed is adjustable via this potentiometer, though the zoom lever itself is variable too, of course. It has two buttons for quick zoom here, which works just like Ingenieur AIF I covered in another video. It zooms in all the way for easy focus, then zooms back out to the previous position when you release the button. You can also get this little memo lever here to store and recall a zoom position. The remote is also capable of remote controlling the iris, a very handy feature for unevenly lit stages. Note that you'll have to set the lens itself to auto iris for this to work. My lens doesn't have a focus motor, if it did there would be a D instead of an M in the name and this spot here wouldn't be empty, but I can use a mechanical focus remote until I get my hands on an electronic one. The mechanical one has a bit more backlash, but it's still quite workable. This is simply due to there being more points where one part interfaces with another. On the topic of focus, most lenses exhibit a phenomenon known as focus breathing. It describes a change in focal length, to put it simple, zooming, when the focus is changed. The effect is most pronounced when the lens is fully zoomed in. As you can see, the lens doesn't breathe all that much, and the effect goes unnoticed during normal shooting. Of course, no lens video would be complete without some resolution tests. Wide open, the sharpness falls off somewhat at the edges, but once you get to f4ish, it's perfect throughout the entire image. What surprised me here was the extender. I was expecting a slight loss of sharpness, but it actually yielded an increase. My specific example of this lens is also in very nice shape cosmetically. The paint is almost perfect, save for a few little spots. The leather on the hand strap is still intact and the glass is clear and scratch free. 
From my measurements, the zoom mode has also in spec at 0.7 seconds end to end. And with that, we've made it to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave you with some more test footage as usual and see you next time.